Lock and load, Gungeoneers. Welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. Uh, last time, I don't remember what I did, because it's been a while since I played the game. I've been uh, kind of busy. Um, oh yeah, we took the uh, Hunter out, and I'm pretty sure I got a lot of the shortcut done. But I still need a bunch of... Uh, I still need a bunch of credits and everything to do the next part of the shortcut, and it's... kind of irritating. <clears throat> this time, I'm... I, I don't know what I'm doing. Brown chest run? Yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> Sorry. I'm kind of at a loss for what to do for uh, future videos. I mean, I've kind of shown off the majority of what's in the game. Who are these guys? Oh, it's the nurses. Nice. Um, I mean, I want to complete the shortcuts and show what what happens when you finish the shortcuts. But and I and I want to buy a lot of stuff and show off a lot of cool cool items. But I don't really I don't really have a way of. Uh, Guaranteeing stuff that I get. Um, I may look into modding the game. I know there's a I know there's a modding community. I don't know how good it is. I haven't messed with it at all. <coughs> look into it. But aside from completing the uh, completing the bounty challenges, uh, unlocking what that gets you, and stuff like that, um, there are two NPCs that I haven't encountered yet, which is largely irritating. I don't know why they aren't showing up. They really should have shown up by now. But uh, aside from them, they do they do unlock special game modes, which are um, they're they're interesting. They're really hard, but they're interesting. But yeah, aside from those guys, I don't I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'll make this a brown chest run. Who knows? We might get mighty Casey. And since I don't have to worry about money right now, I can I can actually pick it up. Uh, I am still working towards unlocking the next shortcut. Well, you know what I could do is a speedrun, maybe. The, the game does have a speedrun mode, and honestly, I've never tried speedrunning it. I don't know how well that would go. <laughs> um, anyway. I do want to unlock the rest of the shortcuts, because there is, uh, there's something special that comes after finishing the shortcuts. Um, I may just start doing some grinding off-screen for stuff like the bounties and the, uh... for the bounties and the uh, shortcuts, just because, well, they require a lot of credits, and honestly, you don't really usually get a whole lot of credits from from just playing the game normally. And you figure this is episode 23? <coughs> that means I've done probably close to 25 runs, and they just haven't, uh, haven't all worked out. Oh, neat. Winchester's not great. It's not good. Right. Winchester's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. At this point, there's so many keys on the floor that I really don't mind picking them up. I'll save that for the boss fight. What else am I missing? There must be another chest in the shopkeeper somewhere. <coughs> I mean, I've kind of run out of things to, to introduce to the game. At this point, it's all familiarity, you know? Um, I have been talking to some people who, uh, they are they are reporting some success after seeing the videos, and I and I am super pleased by that. I still really enjoy this game, and I'm still super happy to see that people are getting better at metronome. Hmm. I don't know about that one. Because metronome's nice and all, hmm. Well, I'll see if they get the money for it. That's like the first the first thing. <coughs> if, I, if I don't get the money for it, then it's kind of a moot point. to go to the oubliette. I've got so many keys, I might as well. You never know. There's always a chance of finding something good down there. It would be silly of me not to go down there. Maybe I'll try and find, uh, find Brother Alburn again. Go to the Abbey of the True Gun. Maybe I won't screw it up this time. 
Maybe. Ooh, this is a Ring of Mimic Friendship. That's a brown chest item? Huh. Did not know that. It seems like it would be a... It seems like it would be a higher, higher tier item. Huh. Neat. <coughs> I'll take it. I'll absolutely take it. I'm not real on chest with the damage the Winchester does, really. I mean, I guess if you're playing somebody like the pilot, it's certainly better than your starting weapon, but it seems like it's really just doing comparable damage to the starting pistol. Actually, maybe even less, because it shoots slower. Yeah, I, I think the Marine's pistol is actually better than the Winchester. I mean, it's, it's a gun, I guess? <coughs> I'm hesitant to praise it beyond that. Eh, it is what it is. <coughs> See, what do we got? Scattersh... Ooh, I do not like Scattershot. Not even a little bit. Scattershot is not a good thing. Definitely gonna... You know, toss that one in the... Toss that one to the Cell Creep. <coughs> Scattershot's an interesting thing. It, it gives you uh, three bullets whenever you shoot one at the cost of... It becomes inaccurate, and um, all the bullets do less damage. And I'm not, I'm not down with that. <coughs> like if you have weapons that home in, it could be a different story. But well, I don't. <coughs> I definitely don't. So shooting more inaccurately is not definitely not high on my list of priorities right now. <coughs> I do have to apologize again for my absence. I've been fighting off sickness and being busy and all sorts of things. Busy man. It's ridiculous. Well, with a metronome, if I build this up, the pistol could become a, a force of nature. Possible. Oh, never mind. I got hit by something. Poison. I had to reload. It doesn't doesn't matter. <coughs> Ooh, this is this room got nasty quick. I can always power up my pistol possibly. Oh no, I guess I can let the rat take some ammo because I can't fill up anything anyway. Uh Firing at me! Jeez, this guy just fire forever. Jerks. I'll take that. <coughs> Excuse me. That's gonna be the other reason I haven't been. Ah, dang it. I haven't been recording as much. I've been coughing everywhere. Ah, uh, shoot. Stop it. Ah, Pookilon. I should have killed you first. Uh, coughing, busy, you know, all sorts of things. Alright, what do we got? 
Shopkeeper. Show me something good. Show me some keys. A key. I'll, I'll take it. That's close to some keys. There's our crest. I'll go back in there later to get that. I don't want to grab it now because the way I've been playing so far, I'm just going to lose it like instantly because I'm bad. <coughs> Chest. I don't know if I'm going to call this a brown chest run. I'll call it an open everything run. I just won't ignore brown chests like I normally do. See, look at that. Brown chest. Just like that. Ooh. Ooh! Oh, yes. Alright. So, Mighty Casey. Let's talk briefly about this. Uh, Casey is a melee weapon. It is a charged up melee weapon uh, that actually requires you to reload after every swing. Um, the big selling point of Mighty Casey is it does an obscene amount of damage. Which, uh, this is now a Mighty Casey run. <laughs> You'll see. I, I don't know how far this is gonna go, but man, I sing its praises often enough. I should, I should at least show it off. Oh yeah, the other thing it can do, it can knock back bullets. So that's nice. And sometimes you can bounce enemies into other enemies with this. Oop. You can bounce enemies into other enemies, and it will do damage. Uh, the only thing I would not particularly recommend doing is uh, don't don't melee grenades. That's usually a bad idea. Oh goodness. I'm not I'm not real solid on killing bosses with KC, but eh, it should be fine. <clears throat> I mean bosses are kinda large. So when you have to deal with them in a melee setting it becomes a little more uh, a little more questionable as to your effectiveness. Dang it. Trap rooms. Ooh. No, oh, and of course, being a cursed weapon, uh, it will increase your curse. And I just got ran into by a by a cursed friggin' ah. Oh, this is this run might be shorter than I thought. <laughs> I just did that. <laughs> yeah, these things happen. Uh <laughs> let's try that again. <laughs> I'll, I'll figure out something. Ah, uh, let's see, what do I have here? Uh, baseball bat, no. Empty bottles, no. What am I looking for? Mod the Gungeon. Yeah, yeah, this, this, this could probably work. Yeah! So... Welcome to Mod the Gungeon. Uh, this is something brand new for me. Uh, the game does have a back-end... Uh, it's it's fan-made, a back-end uh, installer for mods. And what you can do with this, you can give yourself all sorts of neat stuff. You can spawn chests, you can give credits. But most importantly, I'm going to give myself Casey from the start, and we're going to do this right. I mean, if I die again, then that just means I'm bad and I should probably quit now and maybe make another video. But uh, by pressing A, uh, pressing F2, I can open up the command line. And uh, you can see there's a lot of stuff here. 
But I can give myself Casey. And now... Let the violence begin. <coughs> so I know I've seen a few requests for stuff like, uh... Possibly an all-passive items run, or something like that. <coughs> or maybe an all-passive, uh... Items that modify bullets run. And with this, that should be entirely possible. That could be fun. But yes. So, Casey. <laughs> As you can see, if you can... If you can bank enemies into each other, Casey becomes incredibly powerful. I mean, this is, this is no damage upgrades, this is just a base item. It's infinite ammo. Like, really, the biggest violence, the biggest problem you have with Casey is unless enemies are shooting at you, you have to be in melee range. Which is not nothing. Um, and like I said, I, I have had a problem before with, you know, trying to bat grenades. Which I don't recommend that, by the way. It, uh, it goes about as well as you might expect. But, um, Casey is incredibly powerful. It's really good. Especially if you get a few passives on it, uh, the cog of battle, the act of reload will will work with it. Look at that, I just killed a gun knight in one hit, are you kidding me with this thing? <clears throat> now you're gonna find people that tell you Casey is a bad gun. And they're technically correct, because it's not a gun. But anybody that tells you Casey is bad, you should probably not associate with these people anymore, because they're doing nothing but lying to you. Nano machine, son. <clears throat> Let me see. What can I do? Well, yeah, we'll try out. Uh, we'll try out Casey for a while. I mean, I, I may. I may try and make this an all Casey run. I've never done that. I don't know how that'll go. <laughs> it could be funny. Really the biggest downside I see to KC is that it does require the reload time and the charge time. You can't just you can't just swing it without uh, without hitting. Ooh. Goodness. I <laughs> It's one of those runs. Okay. So uh the fight saber. It's uh it is a gun. But when you reload, it also uh, it also will reflect back bullets. Because why wouldn't it? <laughs> it's it's not bad. It's it's really pretty good. It's just definitely not what I expected to see right now. <laughs> the fight saber is of course another cursed weapon, since well, it's it's sort of half saber. <laughs> I love Casey. All right, let's see here. Any secrets are out? And the other thing about the fight saber, it actually does a fair bit of damage too. Um, and it is, it is not nothing. But I don't care who the boss is. Let's give him a taste of Mighty Casey. Actually, Gatling Gold. This could be a really poor decision. What am I saying? Could be. Oh no! <laughs> ah, stop it! Casey is definitely not what I would recommend as far as boss killing goes. Um, if you get it right, you can do a lot of damage, but... That's the trick. Oh yeah, I don't know if I've ever shown that off. Uh, Gatling Gold does have a melee attack. Um... <laughs> If you if you get in like a nice sweet spot, you can actually pretty much kill him the without taking it. Uh, how am I trying to phrase this? If you put yourself in the right position, you can get him stuck in a loop of uh, <coughs> in a loop of melee swings 
But I've never been able to do it. Because I'm not good. But hey, let's go down here and try to redeem myself a Nubliot. If not, then, I mean, hey, you know, it is what it is. But, with Mod the Gungeon, I think I can definitely open myself to more, uh, to more challenges. Uh, which could be fun. Oop, that was a miss. Yeah, the only other thing about it is, especially when you're swinging up and down, it seems like the, uh, the hitbox can be a little strange. Oh, who am I kidding? Seems. The hitbox is very strange. It's, it definitely goes for farther than it looks, but I don't know by how much. Uh, let me see. No, seriously, watching watching enemies ping pong into each other with with Casey on with Casey at bat is one of my favorite things in this game. Killing an enemy by hitting them with a with a second enemy will never stop being funny to me. How can you not love this? <coughs> See, I gotta be careful with these spogers though, because they usually explode in bullets. So... Yeah. <coughs> I don't know if the damage of enemies bouncing off is magnified by... by uh, how much damage is done, but that'd be neat. You know what, why not? We'll, we'll try and take this back the same way. Getting some of the same items that I had last time. Why not? <coughs> I mean, especially with having a little bit of curse, actually more curse than I had last time, Ring of Mimic Friendship could definitely come in handy, because why well, I won't worry about mimics. Tired of your crap, Poopulon. Get out of here. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be trying to kill bosses with Casey. It's obscenely powerful, but maybe not that obscenely powerful. See, I'm feeling better about this now. I don't know, maybe last run I was just being sloppy or something. Well, guaranteed I was doing that, but, you know, you know what I mean.
course, the other thing to figure with Mighty KC, never underestimate, never underestimate the power of hitting bullets back at enemies. If you can get a good run of four or five bullets, you can actually do a fair chunk of damage, and nobody's going to be happy. Nobody's going to be sad about that. Especially with guys like this, <coughs> when they when they shoot out a bunch of bullets at once, you can usually hit them really hard. Though it's still best not to, you know, stand in poison. Still bad for you. It's still best not to touch poison. Room. What am I missing? <coughs> Excuse me. Still haven't found the crest. Still haven't found. I don't think either chest. Oop! <laughs> Almost missed that. Fastball. Oh, I think the I think the glass stone hit it. Yeah, I don't think the sniper bullets do much damage, they just move ex extremely fast. Uh, well, it can't be a mimic, but... Ew. What a lousy weapon. The Corsair actually does have a... Uh, what's the word? Uh, synergy with the compass, but then you'd have to have the compass, so why would you do that to yourself? Uh, why not? YOLO. I mean, I might just take a hit in Blobby Lord and lose it immediately, but, you know, whatever. I will hate myself if I do. Especially in a trap room! Yay! Uh, well, what the hell was I thinking? This was not my best decision today. <coughs> Two trap rooms... Woo! Really? <laughs> Eat it! Normally I hate opening brown chests, but some things must be done. Ooh! Ooh, not bad. <coughs> Heavy boots are different. Oh yeah, I can't I can't open this one at all. No keys for it. Um, heavy boots. I think they may slightly uh, they may slightly decrease your uh, your movement speed, but they also decrease any knockback that happens. So weapons like the alien engine, which normally have preposterous amounts of knockback, um, they get better with stuff like the uh, heavy boots because well you can't be pushed back as much. <coughs> Want to deal with that? That's way too close for me, buddy. <coughs> the fight saber's damage isn't really anything to write home about, but it's consistent and it's not bad. So, I mean, there's there's much more damning things to say. <laughs> I'm I'm playing. I'm I'm not gonna lie. I'm playing a little uh, a little more uh, crazy than I should right now. Just because I have the uh, the reload safety, but it works. <coughs> I think maybe the safest way to use it would be to activate it or to reload and then just dodge roll just in case. At least that seems to be the safest way to do it. Get out of here. Nobody likes you. Geese. <laughs> Thank you. 
But yeah, I think I may have to start doing some grinding off-screen, honestly, just because I'm not unlocking things as fast as I would like to. And, oh hey, there's the last, uh, the last, uh, hollow point I had to kill. But stuff like, uh, the last, uh, the last elevator, uh, unlock requires, I think, like, 25 credits, and that's, that's a hefty chunk of change. I mean, I, actually, I guess with the, with the mod, I could probably give myself credits? Hmm. See, now, now I'm going crazy with the possibilities. Uh, so I guess it only kills these guys in one hit on floor one, which is still not nothing. And see, sometimes I hit these guys, and I'm not sure if it was the bullet that killed them, or if it was Mighty Casey. <coughs> I have to wait for him to spawn first, I guess. Ooh. He is also being buffed, unfortunately. Oh. Well, that works. Ooh! <laughs> Almost ate that one. Eat it, nerd. What have we got? Keys, blast helmet, armor. Hmm. Nah. Oh, here we go. Nice. Nice. So I can always come back here later, and we'll see if the Abbey of the True Gun can handle Mighty Casey. The answer is it probably can, but, you know, humor me. See, I like how some of these enemies, they get hit so hard that you can tell they're going to ricochet into somebody. Ooh. This definitely goes into my, uh, colorary against, uh... <laughs> don't... Don't melee grenades. Unless you are moving away from them at a, at a fairly, fairly decent pace. Flash. Uh. A flash ray is not a good weapon. I'm sorry. It's it's just not. It's inaccurate. It doesn't do much damage. I mean, it's it's a it's a it's a laser. It's a beam, so you can't be intercepted at least. I guess it penetrates. It's still not a good weapon. That. What else we got? <coughs> of course, the other thing to be careful with when using Casey is you have to make sure also that you, uh, if you are swinging, you might want to check and see where the enemies are in terms of their swing as well. Oh, explosive decoy. Sure, I'll use it. Why not? I'll bring down some ammo probably for the, uh, fight saber. Yeah. <coughs> I don't think I ever used the decoy much, really. It just drops a, uh, it drops a little wood thing that enemies are obliged to, obliged to pay atten attention to, and then when I, when they do enough damage to it, it it explodes. So, you know. It's a good way of uh, losing enemy aggro, which is always good. So 
So you may notice that I'm meleeing grenades. At this point, I would say it's definitely a case of do as I say, not as I do. And the Gorgon can definitely, uh, if you have a way of knocking back bullets, you can definitely get her to hurt herself pretty badly. Um, I don't believe the, uh, yeah, the, the lightsaber swinging doesn't do any damage. Excuse me, fight saber swinging doesn't do any damage, but it works. So, um, this guy, the blank companion, um, he'll follow you around and he'll try to blank bullets, because he's a good boy. Appreciate the blank companion, he's a, he's a very nice boy. Excuse me. Let's see here. Let's head down to the Abbey of the True Gun. It's been a while since I was down here. I can't see this possibly going poorly. Yeah, I need a different weapon for this. Ah. <laughs> so I used a flash ray because it shoots instantly. It does enough damage to take those guys out in one shot, and has the chance to penetrate. Though none of that really seems to have uh, come to exact fruition. So yeah, with guys like these, uh, with the red guys, it does enough damage to take them to their final about to explode state instantly, and just because of the way those guys work, you can't actually kill them until they are fully inflated. Eh, it, it's a thing, whatever, I guess. You just have to deal with it. <coughs> want to fill up flash ray because it's bad, but, you know. Let's see, key and... Is this the devolver? No, I'm not a fan of the devolver. Meh. So it doesn't quite kill jammed enemies in one hit, but it comes damn close. Well, then again, I guess it depends on the jammed enemy, too. Shotgun Ken do have more health. Some of them it does quite a number of. I don't see I've seen... I don't think I've seen the blank companion try to blank even one thing so far. Oh, I think what he does is when you blank, he blanks. I think that's it. I don't know. I, I, don't, I pretty much never see him. <coughs> if he blanked just whenever he wanted to, I guess he'd be more like the owl. Which, that's not bad. No, I know what I can do with, uh... I know what I could do with, uh... With Mod the Gungeon. I could get the junkiest boy. We could do a, we could do a Sir Junkin run.
Much like normal bullets, I don't think jam bullets in particular do any more damage to enemies. Um, they do more damage to you, just, you know, not the other guys. Which is okay, I guess. Wouldn't want to make it too easy. Nice. This gun kind of sucks. But I have it. Why not? Whatever. Um, who else am I looking for? Brother Albert. will probably be somewhere on the floor. I don't know if I'll find him. See, look how much damage that does. This Just getting somebody knocked into him. Sending it up to the uh, explosion level. Casey's really good, you guys, I swear. In case you couldn't tell by how much I've been singing its praises ever since I had a chance to get it. Just because I rolled into a pit once. There's a trap room. What's in here? I don't really have to go through it. Sometimes you just have to be willing to use enemies' bullets against them. Especially when they shoot out a bunch of them at once and are asking for it. chest. Now, oh, is this the, uh, it's the dodge ring. Nice. I could use it. I mean, I won't turn it down. It's, it's here. I already, I already, I already used the key on it. Why would I turn it down? You know, whatever. I'm wondering where Brother Albert might be, though. Hmm, yeah, why not? Wind up gun. Uh, where else could he be? Could be in here. Or he could be in the elevator room, I suppose. Is there an elevator room, or is it a different kind of room? Doesn't matter. Whatever. <coughs> <coughs> ah, excuse me. Now, in theory, this might be easier because of the fight saber, but I won't hold my breath. Case in point. Just gotta be real careful. Let's get this. He's just eating bullets. <coughs> like I know nobody gets the fight saber for the damage, but this seems a little uh this seems a little ridiculous, damn it. Screw it, my saber is fight. Yeah, this guy just eats damage. He is ugh. It's the worst. Well. I'm not down with this. Yeah, even Casey's just hardly even denting the guy. And when Casey does no damage, that's when you know you're in trouble. <coughs> ugh. Jerk. Ah, jerk! Ah, die already! I hate you! You're the second worst boss in the game. I regret this. <laughs> oh well. These things happen. Oh, Big Iron has a synergy with... What does Big Iron have a synergy with? I don't know. Armor, maybe? Huh. 
Yeah, anytime you see that little arrow above your head, you have synergy with something, so something's gotten better, but I don't I don't know what they are off the top of my head. Big iron and Oh, big iron and the heavy boots. Of course. I don't know what their synergy is exactly. Maybe the big iron has bigger bullets. I think that's I think that's a synergy. I don't know. I guess I'll find out. Eventually. died that way before, actually. Just by walking into a room and immediately walking off a ledge. It's very, uh, what's the word? Uh, humiliating isn't the word, but it does make me feel bad. <laughs> Didn't even have to see him to hit him. Take that, you blue, blue mage. Jerk. Face. I knocked the Spoger into the into the into the enemy blank. <laughs> okay, cool. Nice. Casey is the Casey is the bat that keeps on giving. Seriously, if you find anybody who doesn't like Casey, tell them they're wrong. They need to know. They sh they should be informed. Oh, I don't have any keys. Oh. Oh. I didn't find Brother Albert either. Hmm. Hmm. Meh. Ooh, Winchester. I could use him. I could try and uh, try and win again. I think we're at two out of three games aced. Um, because once you ace three games, then he gives you a uh, he he gives you something special. So let me see here if I can do it. I don't know. I may not be a bad enough dude. It mm, could be. I'm not liking my odds there, honestly. It's not looking good. Now what if I... I don't know about this. Ah, uh, nope. Didn't quite work. Oh well. Still working on acing. Ooh, nice. The super meat gun. Um, it's a super meat boy reference and it fires out saw blades and it makes you move faster while you're using it. And also, the saw blades fire extremely fast, as fast as you can pull the trigger. Uh, <laughs> the super meat gun is pretty good. <clears throat> Let me see, what do we got? <coughs> Excuse me. Still no keys. Let me see. No, I have to go all the way over here. That's for you. 
Yeah, and I, th I think it only increases your speed while you... No, it increases speed whenever you have it. Neat. Huh. The damage isn't exactly... Uh, it's not too much to write home about, but it is noticeable. Super Meat Gun is, is pretty good. I like it. I am never sad to see Super Meat Gun. <clears throat> Unlike certain other guns I could name. Yeah, nothing I can do there. Mm. Mm. Guess there's no, uh, no shopkeep this time. And of course, it's nothing but junk. <clears throat> Let me see here. Meat. Oh, of course it's you. Everything is made of ah. Everything is made of saw blades. Ah. I can't tell what's going on. <laughs> yeah, that's the only uh, downside of Super Meat Gun is it's a little uh it's a little hard to tell what's happening. Oh, the dueling gun. I mean, I guess it's not as Nah, I don't like the dueling gun. It's So the dueling gun, the bullets rick the bullets ricochet like they're from the slingshot of the Corsair, but it's a single shot weapon that doesn't do that much damage. I mean it's not like when I got the it's not like when I got the nail gun from the Mind Flayer. That was just downright insulting, but you could still do better, you know? <clears throat> Ooh, jammed one. Yeah, the the danger with these jammed guys, especially in these dark rooms, is their eyes don't uh, their eyes don't flash. Let's see. Uh, what does what does he need? Does he need twenty credits? Was that it? Fifteen, twenty, twenty, fifteen, twenty. Yeah. Nice. And that puts us at uh, nine credits. So he'll probably need twenty five on the next floor down. I think that's how the progression works. Yeah. Anyway. Get out of here. That's right, you run away. Ah. <clears throat> Ooh, ammo. What do I need to fill up? What do I use? Oh yeah, super me <laughs> super meat gun. I remember this now. <laughs> because I couldn't see anything. No, oh, that was very nearly a mistake. A bigger one than it could have been. I didn't take any damage, so not a huge mistake, but kind of a mistake. Oh well, yeah, you can see here, once you use Casey, everything else just kind of pales in comparison. The big iron, it's not bad. You could do better. Dueling pistol, uh, I don't know. Does it do decent damage? Not particularly. I mean, the bullets... The bullets pierce, I guess? Yeah, I'm not... I'm never real impressed whenever I find dueling pistol. Yeah. That's what you get for bringing a... That's what you get for bringing a pistol to a... to a bat fight. <coughs> You know, for fun. Still no keys. What else do I have? I wonder if I find a secret room and I put the explosive decoy next to it, will the explosion knock open the room? The world may. I needed those. I mean, 
last floor, but I still needed them. You know, if I'm being close enough to take damage, I might as well get the Enraging Photo. It you could certainly do worse. <clears throat> Let's see, I'll toss in the Dueling Pistol, because I'm not going to use it anyway. Thing sucks. Um, and... Frost Giant, why not? <coughs> and we get the... Hmm... Well, I mean, I guess I should have expected that. Because, you know, they both suck, but... Whatever. I mean, the Frost Giant doesn't exactly suck, but... Y you know what I mean. I don't really know the algorithms for the Muncher. I know it's roughly uh, a mix between the... The, uh... What's the... Oh, I walked into it. What's wrong with me? I know it's roughly a mix between the tiers of the weapons you put in, but I do not know if there's an actual algorithm to it or what. The only danger I see with using the Enraging Photo in Casey is that every time you take damage, it resets your uh, it resets your your charge. So you can't if you keep getting hit, you don't have enough time to charge it up, so you'll never be able to swing. Ah, case in point. I mean, it already does kind of obscene amounts of damage anyway. I don't know. I'm rethinking this already. Yeah. Reflect that back at me, buddy. That's what I thought. Nerd. <clears throat> I don't know if I expected that to work, but I'll take it. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> yes, you can reflect those ghost uh, ghosts that explode into bullets, too. It's fun. Casey's really good. I swear to God. I'm naming this episode Mighty Casey Has Struck Out, because the first time I got it, I died like an idiot. Eat it, nerd. They're never gonna get tired of batting gun uh, ammo mancers. It's just gonna keep being funny to me. Oh. Huh. Not super useful, but I'll take it. Why not? <clears throat> I mean, the worst it can do is damage something. Room. Okay, boss time. Who is... Who's it gonna be? Oh, kill pillars. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. Oh no, I took a hit. I'm an idiot. <laughs> All right. That was a strange noise. I think I hit so <laughs> I think I 
think I hit so many bullets that the game had to... <laughs> the, game, the game couldn't handle it. Um, yeah, the thing I just unlocked, uh, Polaris, I... I don't know what that was unlocked by. Maybe it was by killing uh, killing bosses on this floor a certain number of times, or completing uh, completing this floor a certain number of times. It's a cave story reference. It's good. Uh, it levels up as you kill enemies, and when you take damage, it levels down. And when you get at really really high level, it does preposterous amounts of damage. But it can be hard to keep it that high because it can be really easy to take damage in this game. You know, as you do. Yeah, that's right. Get out of here, Gun Reaper. Nobody likes you. Walked into it. Shame on me. Not as hard as he walked into that, but, you know, still shame on me. Yeah, I can't dodge a bat, can you, sucker? like these bubble bullets. They're, they're the worst. They are actually the worst. Oh, you're still here. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, that was a miss. Ah, dang it. Yeah. Too fast for my own good. <laughs> That's the lead maiden. Ugh. No. Too many bullets everywhere in my face. Ah. Jerk. Damn. That was a bad room for me. That was very much not a good room. I've had good rooms, and this wasn't one of them. Oh, goodness. Probably gonna die now. Yeah, if you get something like Cog of Battle with Casey and you you can pay enough attention to remember to use it, you can do preposterous amounts of damage. I'm pretty sure I've killed uh no. I'm pretty sure I've killed gun nuts down this floor, or at least the spectral guys, with just one swing. It's really good. I keep saying this, and I I don't know if it's that you don't believe me. But it is you guys, I swear. May not die yet. I don't know, I'll still probably go down to bullet hell and die like instantly.
Ugh. Get over here. Ugh. That room could have gone much worse. Better, but worse, you know. Oh, hello. Bye. That did not reload as much as I wanted to. And that was a total miss. Okay. Oh, ah. Dang it. Get out of here. Now, nobody likes you. Get out of here. Ammo singers. Get over here. You guys are rude and jerks. I don't like you anymore. Not invited to my birthday party. Woo. Of course, you could avoid a lot of these pitfalls that I'm kind of encountering by, you know, actually using a gun, but where's the fun in that? No, oh, can't open that one in time. More junk for the junk god. Yeah, I definitely can't hit the dragon with the uh, with Mighty Casey. That just it's just not gonna work. Also, I should. Ooh. I was gonna say I should probably remember that I have the. Uh, <laughs> probably remember I have the decoy, but then this came along. What was the other thing I saw? The bug boots I might be able to use. So that might... It might increase my, uh... Oh! The Shadow Magician! Uh, this is the guy I saw in the last episode! So after you kill, uh... After you kill Cannon, uh, this guy will pop up. He's a jerk! He, he fights, uh... He fights just like, uh, Aghanim. Or very similar to Aghanim. Only you don't have to reflect crap back at him. Whoa! That came at a weird angle. And yeah, uh, he's sort of a mini-boss, and when he dies he drops a chest, usually a credit and some good stuff. So that's that was highly unexpected, but hey, that's that's cool. Yeah, absolutely. I'm glad I got to show him off. <clears throat> I remember you. <clears throat> uh, what do I want to fill up? Mm. Yes. Ooh, jammed. Mind flare. Or jammed uh, kill it then. I'm not happy with that at all. Get over here! <laughs> okay, um. I'll open up this chest, and otherwise, I think this episode has probably gone on long enough, so I don't. Ooh, Shadow Bullets. Neato, Bandito. Um, I don't think I'm gonna try to go to Bullet Hill. I think I'm just gonna... I'll just call it a... Call it a good... Call it good after this... After I kill the dragon. Because there's really no point to it, and it's been going on for a while anyway. So! Super Meat Gun. Ah, thought I rolled through it. I did not. That is not what happened. Oh, that's what the blank companion does when you use an item. He blanks. Okay. That's. It. Ah, dang it! I 
I took a hit and I blinked. What is wrong with me? I mean, I've got a list, but... Oh, that's kind of a waste, unfortunately. <coughs> I mean, what better way to kill a dragon than with a baseball bat? You can't do any damage to him right now, but that's still fine. So you got time to get a good three swings in. And honestly, I don't really think I have any weapons that do significantly more damage, so... I missed that one. Didn't do any damage. Nope. Ah, ah. I should have had him that time, but I let go of my swing too early. It's another danger with these charged weapons. But, you know, these things happen. But this should do it. Yes. Okay, well, that went okay. <laughs> what a weird run. But yeah, now that I have uh, mod the Gungeon, I can probably do all sorts of weird crap that I like starting off with certain weapons and things like that. I have a vague idea of how it works. I've got the general gist, so it should be fun. Um, I'm pretty sure with KC, I could at least make a fair, uh, fair headway into bullet hell, especially if I change to using, you know, actual guns. But where's the fun in that? So, until next time, this has been Mighty KC. But yeah, uh, toss toss a word for what uh, what sort of specific things you might want to see. I believe somebody mentioned giving myself every single passive uh, every single passive bullet upgrade, and seeing if that's uh, seeing if that gets ridiculous. But I'll be looking for stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I'll do it for now. Until next time, aim true.